Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. This is my Lore and Theories video series. In this episode we look at some concept art used in the art of Halo 3 and Halo Legends, and explore its theoretical implications. It may not be the most reliable of sources, but during Halo Legends, specifically Origins Part 2, Cortana speaks of secrets. While she speaks of this, the following images are shown. Now, I don't know about you, but when I saw that, something painfully familiar struck me about the geographic layout of the landmasses, and initially I couldn't actually put my finger on it until I spent some time focusing on the curved landmass towards the top left. Yes, that landmass. The landmass of Europe, or specifically a near identical shaping of Sweden. It could be just artistic merit, but the sudden realisation that the configuration of the landmasses not only bear a more than coincidental similarity to Earth, but also the particular configuration of the continents right around when the single supercontinent that existed at the time of the dinosaurs called Pangaea began separating into their modern positions. Couple this with a relatively obvious artificial design core structure and four massive terraforming engines moving across its surface, is it possible that Earth is in fact artificial, or at the very least has been terraformed or re-engineered for one reason or another? Or could it even be a halo ring engineered to closely match Earth for our own comfort? Maybe this is Zeta Halo. If it's not a halo ring and actually is Earth, it can't be by the forerunner as the species was seeded on their homeworld only 15 million years ago. We need a species that is much, much older, in the realms of 70 to 150 million years old, based on the displayed level of continental drift, if it can be called that when they're artificial. The precursors would have easily been a species old enough to be the potential group behind the terraforming of Earth. Cortana makes reference to some secrets being as old as time itself. The precursors were transcendent, so the idea that they could traverse dimensional planes of existence leads me to believe that they could traverse temporal or time and spatial dimensions at will. Steering back to the Halo idea, is it at all likely that Zeta Halo already confirmed in the lore of the books to have once and maybe still harboured ancient humanity was designed to match or be a close approximation to our homeworld to keep us more quote unquote in check? Or is there another unforeseen ulterior motive for this? What could this mean for the coming Halo games and stories to be told? Will it even play a part in the storyline? I really don't have an end to this idea. I don't have a conclusion I have come to which rounds this up and ties a neat and tidy bow on it. I think because we know so little of the precursors as they were, and their motivations, capabilities, technological or otherwise, it is extraordinarily difficult to make any foregone conclusions. Aside from Earth perhaps being the true origin of the domain, created by the precursors and protected above all else, I'm drawing a blank. What do you guys think? Is Earth artificial, and if so, why is it that way? Who did it? And for what purpose? I look forward to your ideas and debates. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below and I look forward to what you have to say. If you're new to the channel and like lore theories and Halo technology being analysed at insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so next time I put a video out you're told the second it hits the shelves. I want to thank the Halo community over at Amino for their support of the channel and my rambling blog posts over there. If you're not already a member of Amino, I strongly recommend you jump aboard, the link is in the description. Also, if you really like the channel, consider popping over to Patreon and give whatever support you can over there. It massively helps me out and frees up more time for me to put into this Halo content and drives towards an ultimate goal that I'm sure you'll love. More details on that in the near future. Thanks again everyone, now go rest your brain.